hold social media platforms accountable for the hate infiltrating their platforms because they have a responsibility to help fight against this threat to our democracy. If you act as a megaphone for misinformation or cyber warfare, if you don't police your platforms, we are going to hold you accountable. Let's just recap the last several weeks, shall we? So now we have Kamala Harris telling us that social media companies will essentially be shut down for allowing anything she deems to be hate or misinformation on their platforms, aka just criticism of the people in power. Let's be real. Right on the heels of John Kerry saying this to the World Economic Forum. Our First Amendment stands as a major block to the ability to be able to just, you know, hammer it out of existence. So And Hillary Clinton. But I also think there are Americans who are uh, engaged in uh, this kind of propaganda. Uh, and whether they should be civilly or even in some cases criminally charged uh, is something that would be a better deterrent. There is a reason these people are going after social media. They know they already control the mainstream media, but they can't control ordinary citizens, which is so threatening to them that they just want to obliterate the First Amendment out of existence. Hey, Shalom Akim. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rukha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great most of for teaching truth and for ruling well. And peace salutation to all you I came out there pushing and defending his gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, as well as to the believers anyhow by Hashem Shai, the men as well as the women, the hopeful elect. This is the brother Kahana Law from the JMS Y. And I wanted to do a lesson inspired by what you just saw in this video. You just saw in the opening of the of the lesson, you know, and showing you how Esau Edom, you know, wants to completely block out our truth, especially, you know, the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, as we always say, all these truthers, all these so called um you could call them anti establishment, um woke people they have certain pieces of the puzzle but at the end of the day they don't have the, the the full picture man you know and the full picture comes with what was with the wisdom knowledge and understanding of the highest man yes they have you know uh knowledge on on the control east was trying to enforce on the you know draconian uh, well, Esau would call it a, a utopia <laughs> in his own warped and wicked mind. But they have knowledge of that the world that Esau wants to create um, under oppression and, 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 and wickedness. But ultimately, they don't have a, a, a clear picture of what, it, what exactly is going to happen. You know? And how... This whole um, story, if if you want to look at way look at it that way, is going to end, you know. But the prophets, the believers, anyhow, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, or uh, we have the answer to that, man. And we know that this kingdom, you know, is gonna fall. But we know ultimately that Esau is gonna establish such a oppressive presence. Uh, in the world, man. And he is going to achieve, you know, uh, certain things, man. And this is where prophecy ultimately comes into play. You know, and speaking specifically on this video, we just saw on the screen, they want to block out what? Truth from coming out. They want to block out the people that are, like the woman said, criticizing the the wicked agenda that Esau has for the future, man, which is a draconian uh, 
a state where nobody can speak up against the evil that they're committing, man. Because at the end of the day, this is what people are tired of. Like the scriptures say, you know, when the when the wicked bear rule, the, the people mourn. And this is a sign of people mourning, man. They're tired of the lies. They're tired of the, the, the wickedness and the oppression, man. And, that, and every day that goes by, Esau wants to make sure he has control of, of all narratives, man. So he could con he could then control what? The minds of the people, man. This is, again, why it's called the, the government, you know, govern to, to, you know, pretty much rule and men from the Latin word mente, which means mind, man. So Esau wants to govern your mind and tell you what you can and you cannot think, what you can and you cannot do. And he wants to completely take over that 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 sense of 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 um, how can I explain it? That sense of uh, of choice, I guess, through what through through the sea hit man through that MOTB. As we all know, it's gonna come a time where Isa is gonna make that mark mandatory man and he's gonna pretty much sway your your uh decision making to whatever options he gives you you know and this is what the the heavenly father has been telling us for millennia man but now in these end times that we're living in we're actually seeing how uh, esau edom Put forth these laws and put forth, you know, the, the, the plan, lay down the plan on the whole entire earth, man. And the main thing that they're trying to do is what? Block the, the, the truth from coming out. So this is the book of Amos, chapter 8, and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, save the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And a lot of people, if you brothers and sisters notice, a lot of people, every time they find something out, uh, a major, or uh, you could call it a major red flag in the establishment, or, or a major red flag in in uh, in uh, in humanity, they always refer back to the scriptures, man. You know, and this is because ultimately, the Lord spoke to us on these things before we we were even on the on the creation, man. The Lord knew all these things, and He gave this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to the prophets. For it to be spoken As a warning man Of what was to come And starting off with our apostles All the bishop elders You know and, and all the brothers on down man We've been telling you Jakes man That the Lord's coming with, with wrath man And he's gonna show his wrath through, through what? Through Esau man Let the scriptures say Deliver me from the wicked Which is thy sword And we know Esau Is going to be able to establish uh, His agenda to, to a certain extent man And part of it is what For you to not have What you would so Today called freedom of speech man And we see him doing it Through what Through Through um, through uh, draconian legislations, you know, he'll put a, a, a he'll put a, a a law saying that, you know, you can't say certain things, and as we jo just heard in that video, he said that what that, well, that was Kabbalah Harris talking about what social media is being responsible for the hate, the hate speech and the misinformation that's circulating in, 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 in those platforms, man. 
And in reality, it's not that it's a hate. Uh, it's not hate speech. It's not misinformation that they're worried about. It's the truth. You know? That's what they're really afraid of, man. Esau is not afraid of anything but of the truth. You know? Esau has enough resources, enough control, nor enough sway over the people that if if they want to get rid of a couple of people and not have anybody say anything, it's cool. But when the truth is is out there and the truth is um is exposing him for who he is and and, and what his plans are, then that's the problem, man. And that's what he wants to get rid of, man. So let's keep on reading. And and this is what we're seeing uh, in, in live time, man. We're seeing Esau trying to block the truth from, from coming out. So again, let's read Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. That I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the... It's a lot again. Let me read 12 again, verse 12. Amos um, 8 and verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and shall not find it. And again, like I was mentioning earlier, these truthers have a... a, a a portion of the puzzle, man. You know, but the most important puzzle of uh, peace is what? How to how to escape this damnation that's coming, man? How to escape the destruction, the 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 terrible times that are coming that the Lord is gonna use Esau Esau for to to judge the world, man. And this is what the prophets are telling our people man we've been out there calling on to our fellows to our nation man singing you songs of, of, of salvation we have mourned unto you telling you the, the terrible things that are about to come but you don't want to repent you want to be part of this this uh you know wicked um, oppressive society, man. And that's what's gonna bring your demise. The love for wickedness, man. Real quick, let me get something. Um, actually, let's open up another tab here. Just bear with me out here. In the book of Isaiah 30, let's read up a little bit. The book of Isaiah 30, uh, well, shoot, this is this is all good, man. Uh, but let's start at verse uh, 9. Well, let's start at verse 8. I said 30 and verse 8. It says, Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be before them 
Salakia, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Um, <clears throat> verse 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy the sea. And again, they don't want to hear the, the word of the Lord. They would hear that Jake is, is more uh, attracted to hear um, things from, from so-called uh, survivalists or preppers or, uh, you know, militia members that tell them to prepare carnally. You know, yeah, we're going to mount up a force and, and we're going to fight against the establishment for our freedom, for this. Or they they, they want a, a, a carnal, inspirational speech that's going to pump them up to, to do some wickedness, man. Pretty much. You know, to, to rely on themselves to make them feel like like they're the ones that are gonna save themselves, man. Which kind of gives them a, a sense of, of pride, man. That's what it is. You look at all these preppers and all of them, none of them are what, what you can say in a sense humble. They're all like, yeah, we know this and we're gonna do this and we're gonna prepare. Like, that's not up to you, man. You could die in your sleep at any given moment. But we understand that it's all in the hands of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shad, man. And this is why the scriptures tells us that what? That you're, that the sword is not gonna let, going to deliver you, man. Nor horses, nor chariots. Nothing carnally on this side is going to deliver you from the wrath that's coming, man. Because at the end of the day, it's the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shad. But that's what Jake wants to hear. Lies. Uh, the sea Oh yeah Nothing's gonna happen Or yeah Let's let's mount up a force And we're gonna overcome You know You have people that say Oh if we all stand up Together and fight Oh we can Outnumber them And this and that Like a, a, a false A false uh, Narrative man Esau could just Hide in their damn bunkers and nuke the whole damn place, man. Or they would like to hear what? That nothing is ever going to happen. You know, or peace and safety. That's what our people want to hear. That deceit, that, the, the, the lies, man. It says, uh, verse 11, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And a lot of people, a lot of Jakes, you know, the reason why these um, politicians, the, the, the presidents, these puppets go out and say these type of things on the, on the mainstream media is because they know that the people, that the masses of the people are seeing these videos pop up. Or, or have relatives that, you know, speak against their, 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 uh, against those, those thoughts that they have that, that are aligned with, with Esau's agenda. And it bothers them. It bothers them to think that the, the people that they trust on so much, the establishment they trust on so much is going to do some wicked, you know, uh, it's gonna do something wicked to them, man. So when these puppets go out there and, and speak and say, oh, we gotta stop misinformation and we gotta stop hate speech, they, they agree with it, man. And as long as a good portion of the people agree with it, Issa has the, the, well, in his mind, has the right to what? To come down with laws to stop people from, from uh, speaking against them, man. And people, especially our people, man, they they want to see the prophets 
be taken out of the streets, man. They want to see the prophets just put somewhere in a in a jail cell and 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 not hear from them again. Why? Because they hate the word of Yahweh by Shimei was shy, man. And to an extent, again, it's gonna happen, man. But when it does happen and the 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 oppression and and uh the vexation start, now you're gonna wanna see the prophets. Now you're gonna wanna see the truth of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Oh shit, those people were right, those men, the crazy dudes in the corners, they were right, man. Look at what they're doing to us. Fuck, we gotta find them. But guess what? In those days, we're, we're not gonna be around, man. Whether it be whether it be that they lock us up, whether it be that um, you know we out and about, you know, uh, running for our lives, we're not gonna be there. The Yahweh Shemiah Shah is not gonna keep us here for your entertainment until the missiles come. No, man. It's going to come a time where nobody's going to hear the word of Yahweh HaShem Shah. Unless you are a part of the elect and, and, and Yahweh HaShem Shah have it to where you are around the men of the Lord, the prophets, you're not going to hear this word, man. It's going to be shut. The, the, the doors of mercy are going to be shut and nobody's going to be able to enter into the, the, the Lord's uh, protection, man. So keep ignoring the truth if you want to, man. But it comes with, with dire consequences, man. This is not ignoring Yahweh Shema Washah is not anything light. You're not just gonna ignore the words of Yahweh Shema Washah and just get away with it scot clean. I say a 30, special and especially talking to, to our people, man. The, the heathens, we don't give a damn. The Lord doesn't give a damn about you heathen nations, man. But to his people, man, you you got something else coming. Terror is beyond imagination. Um, <clears throat> Verse 12, it says, Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because he despised his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, which is again what we're witnessing, our people loving this world more than than Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, more than the truth. Loving lies more than the truth. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant that's right man so it's gonna be a, 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 a destruction or it's gonna be a, a a judgment that you're not gonna expect that's why the scriptures say that the the day of the lord cometh as a thief in the night man and it's not gonna be a a, a fun experience it's not gonna be a, a, a just a, a quick uh hiccup in life that you're gonna one day sit down and, and laugh and say, hey, remember when we were suffering all? No, nah, man, you, you're not gonna make it. Guaranteed. You're not gonna make it. If you out here in this world without Yahweh Shimia was shy, you're you're done. You're guaranteed dead. You as a matter of fact, you're dead already, man. You're dead spiritually, and the, 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 the manifestation of that dead spirit is going to come physically in the day of judgment, man. At least you repent and come to Yahweh Shem Shah. So take all these things that are happening oh, God, as, as warning from the Heavenly Father, man. As, a, as, a, as signs... Of to what he's been telling us, man. So, hey, with that, I hope you brothers and sisters were edified. To the next time, I say shalom.